Hi, I'm Merle and today we'll be taking a look at controlling motors using the REV hardware client. When prototyping, it's nice to be able to quickly change the parameters of your setup. While you have the option to redeploy your code, it's often not the fastest way and definitely not the easiest. Instead, the motors can be fully controlled using the graphic interface of the REV hardware client. To start off, we first need to supply our Spark Max controllers using 12 volt. This can be easily done through the PDH. In case you want to control multiple controllers at once, make sure to connect them all to your canvas. But do not connect your can to the Robo Now, simply connect your laptop to the PDH using a USB cable. Before turning on your prototypes, make sure you put on your safety glasses. When you open the hardware client, you should be able to see all the devices you connected to your canvas. Now simply select one of the controllers and move over to the Run tab. Most of the time, a percent output is enough. But finding control is also possible using the other control modes, such as position and velocity control. To efficiently use the other motor controllers, PIDF constants can be applied through the motor controller. If you want to run multiple motors, click on View Graph and then navigate to Run Multiple. Controlling multiple motors works just as easy as controlling a single one. If I click on Run Two Motors, you can see that the motors will be easily turned on. <laughs> Testing prototypes with the Rev Hardware client is so much easier and faster than just writing new code every time you want something to be changed. We would like to thank Rev for providing this free software and we would like to thank you for watching. Doei doei!